kia mambaya kukana wao wanaleta matisho vitisho aviwezi kujenga inchi fear even biblically fear ya ina hiyo inaleta uhasama mwingine wa tofauti kabisa kwa hivyo tuombeni yesterday it was announced that fuel prices were actually reduced and uh, also the president of the the Republic of Kenya, that is William Samuel Ruto, has been walking to the country, uh, praising himself con con concerning the reduction of food prices, and to be specific, Unga, where he says it was selling over 100, and currently it is selling um, at, at some point 160, 180, which is not uh, really the case on the ground. Uh, other things that President Ruto has also been calling out, saying he's doing well, is to do with the fertilizer, which actually uh, has ended in a saga, in a very big scandal, that is where very fake fertilizer was being sold to Kenyans. Now, yesterday, the opposition principal of Azimula Umoja, that is Kalonzo Msioka, came out and really called out the president, telling him to stop the jokes of manipulating prices of items and prices of things and also to stop corrupt corruption hello and welcome to the socrato tv at the socrato tv we explore discuss and discover hidden stories shaping our political landscape i'm inviting you to this political discourse where i want us to critically look into the sentiments that Kalonzo Msioka, who is the party leader of WIPA and a co-principal in Azimula Omoja, which is uh, the opposition outfit, what he came out and said in regard to President William Samaye Ruto's rule. Wanaushugulikia mambaya kukana wao, wanaleta matisho. Vitisho aviwezi kujenga inchi. Fear, even biblically, fear ya ina hiyo, inaleta uhasama mwingine wa tofauti kabisa kwa hivyo tuombeeni jombeeni tuombeeni ombeeni serikali hii ili Mungu afungue macho yao waone wananchi wanalia hawaoni hiyo hawaoni kama wananchi wanalia hawaoni kabisa naona wakisema at bei ya unga imeshuka <laughs> na e, mafuta yamerudi chini kwa hivyo Wasiwa nafuata popular statements. Now I want to ask. Ikiwa unga ime pungua bay peke yake. Ufisadi now. Yani unaweza kuchange. Ku, una, Unafanya exchange program. Una, unapunguza bay kidogo ya unga. Alafu unasema watu waibe. Waibe ya. Na kuleta hali ya umaskini wa kiajabu. Na sura mbaya ya inchi. Sura mbaya kabisa. Kama vile ujina mewambieni. Sasa tunaorodeshwa katika mataifa ambayo ayana uadilifu kabisa in terms of governance. So mambuhani mabaya zaidi. Tapatiwa bolea. Bolea. Na tumesema pale asubui kabla ya kuja hapa. Badala kusema watu ambao mapatiwa bolea bandia. Warudishiwe pesa zama bolea ya sawa. Tunasema ndio warudishiwe lakini pia. Mafuno, wakati wa mafuno sasa wamechelewa, wamechelewesho, ni lazima wapatiwe e, ile garama ama mavuno ambayo walikuwa wanakishia, wapatiwe pile vile, wapatiwe. Kwa hivyo mambo haya lazima yote wafanyue mazungumzo. Ebu imagine kama kengu, kunge kuwa Kenya hii na watu ambao wanabishana na hawa watu. Mungepele kwa story, mungepele kwa style ingine ambayo haijaonekana Mimi nilikuwa makamu wa rais wa Kibaki kama vile my our late brother I now want us to critically look into these sentiments that were made by Kalonzo Msioka and assess them and at the end we will also look at the implications or the consequences that these statements that Kalonzo Msioka made Now before we start looking or analyzing this deeply I'm requesting all those who are new to our channel just to take one second 
and click that subscribe button that is the only way you support our youtube channel the first thing that kalonzo msioka wanted to achieve or achieved it was actually to expose the manipulation and tactics that the government which is being led by dr william samueruto is using to manipulate kenyans by coming out and telling people that this government is doing manipulation whereby they increase the price of an item that is for example oil or even food then later they reduce it and then claim credit for doing so he exposed it to kenyans so that people who may not be privy with such kind of information can actually know the kind of the leaders they are dealing with so that it's upon them to make the decision of whether they actually vote for these same leaders or not remember at some point dr william samuel to said that people should not actually praise him or thank him for reducing the price because he argued that these prices are usually controlled by international bodies or countries that produce oil but yesterday he praised himself saying that he has actually reduced the prices is that not uh, some kind of hypocrisy the second reason why kalonzo msioka did that was to try and prevent any future kind of uh, tactics or manipulations that the government can use remember if the government that can manipulate the prices for example if let's say the price of sugar let's say 2 kg maybe it is let's say it is 300 shillings then the government decides that it makes it to be 500 shillings then after a few months it reduces it back to 350 is that really reducing the price so since it began with oil and it went on other items uh kalonzo mchoka made that to be a deterrent move to prevent the government from oppressing people again in future days or in coming days by using the same tactic that they are using the third reason that kalonzo mchoka actually made that allegation is to create Uh, to make the public know this and it, it's like bringing uh, the issue to the public court so that the public can judge themselves on the kind of leaders they put in power by telling people that this government is manipulating the items prices and then claiming or taking credit for reducing what they are they are actually responsible for increasing he paints the government in bad light which actually at the end makes kalonzo mshoka to be the winner considering the fact that he is an opposition leader who is also eyeing to become the president of the republic of kenya so if this actually resonates with the wananchi then it is a, a big win for kalonzo mshoka the fourth reason why kalonzo mshoka made that and especially to do with corruption is actually indeed talking about the corruption that we've been witnessing in this regime there are a lot of corrupt deals from the edible oil uh, recently we have had this fake fertilizer and many other corruption scandals that is actually to also expose the aspect of corruption and also prevent it from happening remember corruption is very harmful to any country it prevents progress and most of african states actually do not progress because of being corrupt corruption only benefits a few individuals so as an opposition leader it is his is indeed his responsibility to come out and pinpoint the failures of the government such as corruption so that it can uh, stop doing such ills in the society i now want us to look at the consequences or the implications that this uh, sentiments from Kalonzo Msioka will have that is both to him and to the president of the Republic of Kenya but before we start looking into that i'm requesting all those who are new to our channel 
just to hold a bit and subscribe remember by subscribing you support our channel and help us even to grow further the first thing that the president that is dr william zamoyeruto may try to do is to retreat that is the con the first consequence retreating in the sense that the fact that kalonzo msioka has come out and exposed the tactics he has been using to manipulate people he may retreat the strategy and maybe stop doing uh, that kind of manipulation which he has been doing and maintain the public trust through a genuine ways although i don't believe it is very likely for him to do that and that's why i bring the second consequence which is that the fact that now the public is aware of the tactics and artificial manipulation of prices that the regime headed by dr william ruto has been doing if indeed this statement by kalonzo msioka resonates with common mananchi which i believe it does then it will make people even to be more against of this regime and that is likely to lead to the downfall of dr william samueruto his downfall may even come much earlier than the anticipated that is 2027 by losing election whereby him his downfall may come even by through a revolution so if the public anger is actually triggered by the fact that they are being either experience hardship not because of the situation but because of a situation that had been created by somebody else then it will anger kenyan so much that they can decide to do something that the president will never forget another thing is that the public uh, trust especially people who voted for dr william samuel ruto who really believed in him and his agenda if they affirm or they confirm that indeed the president is using such kind of tactics so that he, he can re make them feel relieved then they will not trust the president at all and in essence it will make them even to hate him which will lead us back to the previous point which i am saying that that is actually what leads to a revolution or the end of the regime of the president lastly although this is very unlikely considering the type of person the president is uh, the president could come and call kalonzo mtsoka and have a truce a truce in the sense that uh, the fact that kalonzo mtsoka is now aware of the tactics he has been using he may call on him and have a cup of tea with him and maybe uh, try to convince him not to expose him so much which I don't think uh, if Kalonzo Mtsoka wants to maintain his relevance and continue to be regarded as an important figure in the opposition he should not do that. Those are the kind of uh, likely consequences I believe are likely to come with this testament that came from Dr. William Samueruto. And uh, I'm sorry that came from Kalonzo Mtsoka to uh, President William Samueruto tactics. I don't know what you think about this. Please feel free to share your comment at the comment box so that we can uh, continue this deliberation until we meet again 